Hello, you are once again welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. Uh, I'm your teacher, Daku Fred. Yeah. Uh, we are still continuing with the topic vectors, but today we want to take uh, an aspect of it called parallel vectors. And when they say parallel vectors, what does it mean? Two vectors are set to be parallel. We all know that parallel lines are lines that have the same distance between them and they never meet. Uh, so if you have two vectors that are parallel, it means that both vectors have the same gradient. It means we find the gradient of the vector A and that of vector B. It should be the same. Or better still, we can say that one of the vector is a scalar multiple of the other. If one of the vector is a scalar multiple of the other, then we can say that the two vectors are parallel. Now, parallel vectors, as we can see, move in the same direction. So if I have this as vector A and vector B, if both have the same gradient and their direction is the same, it means that the scalar multiple, what is multiplying one vector to give the other, will be positive. So if I have A is equal to 2 times vector B, that means that the 2 as a scalar, which is a positive number, multiplying B, makes it what? The two vectors moving in the same direction. But we can still have vectors that are parallel. They are parallel anyway. They have the same magnitude. So we can say A and B. But the direction is different. They have different direction. This is moving upward. This is moving downward. So in this case, we can say that vector B is the scalar multiple of the vector A is negative. So for example, if I have A as a vector 4, 3, then I have B as a vector 12, 9. These two vectors are different in terms of numbers. But when they come to parallel, we can see that there is something that multiplied vector A. There's a factor or a scalar that multiplied vector A to give us vector B. So it means that B is actually 3 times what? A. So if I multiply the vector A by 3, as in 3 multiplying 4, 3, the answer I'll get will become 12. Nine. So since there is a scalar multiplying one of the vector to give me the other, we can say that vector A and B are parallel. They have the same magnitude. And the 3 multiplying is positive. Therefore, it means vector A and B are on the same direction. They are moving towards the same direction. So if I have this now, if I want to check whether the same vectors have the same gradient, you know, gradient is always change in the y-axis over change in the x-axis. So if I want to find the gradient of vector A, it's going to be the y, which is 3, divided by 4, which will give us 0 0.75, but we are looking for the fraction. Then we are going to find the gradient of B, the y-axis, which is 3, over the x as is, which is 12. But I think we can see that there's a common factor for 3 and 9. So that gives us 3 and what? 4. Since the two vectors are having the same gradient, that is 3 on 4, we can say that vector A and B are parallel. So parallel vectors have the same gradient. Or parallel vectors, one is a scalar multiple of the other. And another uh, property is that when the scalar multiple is positive, it means the two vectors are moving in the same direction. But when the scalar multiple is negative, then we can say that the two vectors are in the opposite direction. So we can say that
Now we have uh, this question. Normally, this kind of question we see them in the objective. So we are saying that which of the following vectors are parallel to the vector 28? Now, so if you look at them, the possible answers we have negative 2, 5, 5, 2, 4, 8. So for you to get the, the vector among these possible answers that are parallel to this, you can go straight forward to find their gradients. It means the gradient of this or for this is going to be 8 on 20. And common factor here will be 4. So 2 2 and what? 5. So 8 is going up. 20 is divided. So we have 2 on 5. If I find the gradient of this, it's going to be 5 divided by negative 2, which is different from this. If I take this, it's going to be the y-axis 2 divided by what? 5, which is what we're having here. So we can say that this vector, which is possible as a v, is uh, parallel to this. So finding parallel vectors is just knowing the, the gradient. If I can put it that way, find the gradient or knowing if there's a scale factor, a scalar that multiply one to give you the other. All right, thank you very much for watching. And if you want more of these hard videos, then go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gapu Fred. Yeah. Or you can still search Tazunumi Fred or Tazunumi Online Mathematics. And I think our TikTok, Setazu. Facebook, Gapu Fred, yeah. and you can be able to get access to my video. Thank you very much for watching.